these are my paintbrushes, my power tools, my ways to express myself and to be able to share the world with other people. They are what empowered me to become a teacher and show others how to do the exact same. And if you look at it like this, this is kind of the evolution of how I started. Starting off from a little tiny action camera, making my way up into a professional DSLR. And today, there's a new addition to the family. And normally I don't do unboxings, but today is worth it. Now I will say before we go any further, this is not a video that's been sponsored by anybody other than my dreams and hard work. Uh, each of these pieces have been purchased by me and this one is no exception. Now if anyone knows the EOS C line, you'll know that this is a professional line and if the box wasn't a giveaway, it's a big camera. This is about $16,000 right here. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why would somebody buy a $16,000 camera? And to be honest, I might be asking myself the same thing, but I guess we're gonna learn that together. But to give you a real answer as to why I would spend so much for a camera, well, I don't see it as my camera. This is my car. It is my way of showing people the world. It is my way of transporting people into different moments in life. And that's essentially why I first started off by picking up this camera. I've always had a bit of an obsession with being able to take a moment in life pause that moment and be able to hold on to it forever. When I first started, it was just for me. I wanted to be able to look back on my travels going through Thailand, the stories of a broke backpacker traveling the world. Today, I don't do it just for me anymore. I do it for you. I do it for everybody watching and I do it because I love it. And this camera right here is basically taking the quality of life and stopping it right in its tracks. Being able to share the actual textures, colors, and senses of being in that moment. If I could give you smell, I would, but today we're gonna be stuck with sight and sound, but this is the beast that will allow me to do that. To be able to bring you wherever I am around the world. This is a moment in my career. This is a exciting moment for me. I, I just wanna open this box. It's taken a lot of self-control, not just to tear it open, but uh, let's do it together. Now I'm gonna say, I would have expected more of like an Apple-like box experience, but at least it's nice cardboard. Ooh, that's a nice hinge. Wow, I feel like I could reuse this box for something. I'm so excited, guys. I've been waiting for this camera for almost a week and a half. I've been keeping my eye at the front door waiting for the delivery man. The only reason it took that long was because my credit card kept getting declined. I couldn't put it through on my credit card because it's just such a ridiculous amount of money. Oh, wow. Look at that cable. It's a thousand dollar cable. Hang on. 30 minutes later, we have a new little setup here. It takes so much work to get that stupid overhead camera set up. But anyways, it's worth it. Let's get started. Item number one is a camera strap here. It looks like it's kind of a pretty hefty camera strap, probably because it's gonna be a heavy camera. All right, next up on our list is whatever this is. Ooh, nice little protective fabric. I now have an EOS R experience with a flip out screen or a rotating screen, so this might be my new vlog setup. Definitely not gonna throw this. Next up, what do we got? All right, I guess this is probably to mount the screen. I don't know, I've never worked with a cinema camera before. All right, uh, power cable, a handle, could double as some brass knuckles if you get in a fight with like a wild bear, which by the way, a little hint of what's to come. We're about to start a cross Canada trip, so this might come in handy. Now I'll say I've seen the unboxing already. I've watched every video on YouTube about this camera. And by the way, there's only like 10 of them, so I've watched each of them twice. But still, when I start seeing all these parts, I'm realizing this is another level of camera. Bunch of bolts and stuff. We'll throw that back here. On to the next level. We'll save that for last. I think I know what this is. Taking a wild guess. Now this right here is a funny story. They only give you a single battery charger. When you're traveling especially, you cannot be waiting for a single battery to charge at a time. And when you go to bed at night, you wanna make sure that all your batteries are charging. So I had to pay another 450 Canadian dollars to get the dual one, but at least this is a nice safety backup. If ever I lost the double, then I have this. So it's good, it's handy. All right. These are the Big Bertha BPA60 batteries, which are supposed to get me, I think, two and a half hours or two hours of record time when shooting in 4K. So 
uh, the, the higher the recording you use, the more it's gonna burn through the battery. But this is a buff battery, pretty heavy. And by the way, if you're not familiar with this camera, it can do 4K 60 uncropped. It can do 5.9K raw. And that's like absurd if you know what I'm talking about. But the truth is because I travel, because I have to upload to editors who are working remotely, I can't be working with huge files. So I'm actually gonna see how this does with the lowest resolution of 4K 60, as well as maybe even trying out 2K. Because the 2K on this is going to be miles better than like the 8K on your cell phone or the 4K 60 on any other, you know, $3,000 camera. There is a reason for the high price point. You'll see it eventually once I set this up. All right, whoa, holy. All this just to charge? Max, if you're watching, this is going in your backpack. <laughs> this is to mount the microphone. Boring. We're almost at the bottom of the case here. Yeah. So here it is, guys. The camera. Oh. Oh my lordy. Wow. Jeez. This thing is gonna raise some questions when I go into coffee shops. I hope that doesn't become too much of an issue, but oh my goodness. This feels so much more premium than I thought. I mean, for the price it makes sense, but it just feels, just feels right. It's actually a little heavier than I expected. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the C500 Mark II. This is an absolute beautiful creation. I'll show you in action as I try to learn this camera from home. All right. Put this handle on here, I assume. Screw that guy in here. We're starting to get our beefy camera look. So now you got a nice little briefcase handle on it. And uh, so it is a full frame sensor, which is one of the reasons I didn't go for the C300 Mark III, which also just got released. Unfortunately, the only thing that I'm not stoked about is this doesn't do 120 frames per second, unless you go crazy crop. It's basically unusable. But the truth is, I don't use slow motion anymore. I've basically been using 60 frames for everything. So the camera also came with this, a 512 gigabyte CF Express. I bought this, which is a V50 viewfinder. That was another, I don't know, 400, 500 bucks. Another battery, another 400 bucks. And another 450 bucks. Look at the size of this. This is like a book. I'm carrying around a dictionary with me now everywhere I go. I used to think the 1DX battery charger was so unnecessarily massive, but now I appreciate how small it was. Time to charge. Probably gonna wanna put on this arm. That's enough of the unboxing. I'm gonna get this battery charging so that you can see what's up. You can see why this camera is the price that it is. And uh, hopefully you're not thinking to yourself, it looks the exact same as the other cameras. I'm gonna be straight up. I know a lot of people will actually feel that way. A lot of people won't really take note, but I bought this for me and not necessarily for everybody watching. Hey dad, come see this. Oh, that's <laughs> not a toy for crying out loud. You look like a news reporter. Christian, what are you gonna do with that? I don't know. No, but for vlogging, obviously it's not. Uh... No, it's for vlogging. It's just my new selfie camera. No. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> You're gonna have to do some serious work. Oh, that it's thing. heavy. What is nuts, man? Yeah. So why did I really buy a sixteen thousand dollar camera? Isn't that a bit excessive? Well, I've got two words for you, and that is morning routine. A week has passed by and I have been having way too much fun with this camera and I'm proud to say this is now a bird watching channel. 
Welcome aboard all you fellow lost bird watchers and uh, you're in for a joyride because this lens right here is a 150 to 600 and with this camera I can turn it into effectively an 1800 because I can crop in three times. It's absurd. I mean I want to show you the shot I got of an eagle up in a nest. This has gone from a camera to an absolute bazooka. I'm gonna have a problem with airport security. Now with that said guys, I am very curious to hear your opinion. Did you notice a big difference between my norm and what you've seen here today? Can you see the extra picture quality, the video quality? I know that some people won't. Some people will not be able to pick up on it, but for those of you that have the eye for the dynamic range increase, the sharpness, all the above, uh, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on it. And so guys, in closing, why did I really buy this camera? Because I know I've said it several times now, but the real reason why I was willing to make what seems like a bit of a crazy investment right now is because every time in my life that I have made one of those big investments, it has always returned itself. When I bought my GoPro, when I bought my One DX, when I invested in that new lens, when I invested my time in becoming a better content creator, all of these things have repaid themselves countless times over every single time without fail. When you make the right investments, you take a big sacrifice in the short term because you know something greater is coming in the long term. And I believe this camera could be a way to open up new doors for me. It's going to allow me to get to the next level as a filmmaker, a storyteller, and I'm really excited to see what I can do with this. And for those of you that do notice the picture quality, well, get ready because there's a a whole lot of travel coming with it and we're just about to begin a cross Canada road trip so if you're new to the channel if you want to see more footage from this throughout Canada and throughout the world when the world is ready for travel then hit that subscribe button because there's so much more to come one last thing I want to end on guys is whether you're currently filming with something that looks like this like this a DSLR a mirrorless camera it doesn't make a difference if you want to become a full-time content creator I have just released a one-hour free training it is an absolute game changer whether you're an intermediate beginner or an expert. I guarantee you it will be the best one hour you will ever invest in yourself. If you don't believe me, I guarantee it your money back and it is free so there's no money on the line. But if you're curious, check out the link down below. See for yourself why this guy right here said this one hour was better than the two years he had spent in his school. See for yourself how one hour can truly transform your career and your journey as a content creator and uh, that's where I'll end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like, hit the subscribe and let's get lost again in the next one.